it's Cat, and I am fulfilling a request today. I got an ask on Tumblr that was like, oh, have you done a tutorial on that look that you just posted in your selfie? And I was like, huh, I, uh, <laughs> no. I actually filmed it like a get ready with me, but I was like, hey, let me do my eyes first, and it sucked. Roll footage. I'm not having fun. And then I was like, hmm, let me try this new primer. But I think it just messed me up. Roll footage. Oh my gosh, look at how the swatch of the eye primer dried on my hand. It's like dust. I decided to refilm it today as I'm uploading my brow tutorial. Link in the description. I'll just let you watch the video and I will I will go so okay. okay so I did my foundation and my brows but the important part of this tutorial to me is like the eyes so we're gonna jump into that I used the Nubian palette and then I also brought in one other shadow because it was kind of more of a cool toned look and as you can see these shadows aren't that cool toned. I'm going to kind of talk about brushes too. This one is from BH Cosmetics brush set that I got recently. It was called like the Smoky Eye brush set. I think I'm going to put the names of stuff in the description if you're interested in anything I use. Um, I just feel like you need something that does the same thing. Like different brushes can do the same thing, but just something similar. I feel like an important brush is like a big fluffy eye brush. Um, so yeah, this one is the number one from that brush set, and they're pretty nice. I like these brushes so far. So the first thing we're going to do is go in with this shade, which is actually the top row. This one this picked up that shade. And this is what's known as a transition shade, putting this powder down initially will help everything else blend. And then the next thing I'm going to do is pick up this color, which is a real chocolatey brown. And I'm going to take my e.l.f. Professional Blending Eye Brush. This is one dollar. I really love these two one dollar elf brushes. I'll be using them both. Um, and the smaller one is the eye crease brush. So the blending eye brush and the eye crease brush. And so I'm going to pick up that chocolatey brown and start putting that in my crease. I'm actually going to take it all the way in. With a lot of the eye looks I do, I just kind of throw on a transition shade and throw some stuff here in this outer corner, but I'm going to kind of cover a lot of ground. You can see right now the shape that I'm following is basically a circle, but we also want to wing out this corner, just because that's a shape that I really like. point at this outer corner. And see how I'm doing that is I'm just following like where my la lower lash line is and just taking that up and out and then connecting it with my crease. So I'm just kind of making a V out here. And the blending doesn't have to be 100% perfect because we can go back in with this brush and do a little blending. I brought in a lot of this color, so I'm going to take my smaller brush and I'm actually going to start out by mixing these two. Because for this look, we're going light to dark. And for me, that just makes the blend easier and it just makes 
the whole process go more smooth. So there you can see, I've hardly done any blending, but it already looks pretty smooth because of the colors I put on initially. And then having the different size brushes also makes it really easy to blend. And now I'm actually gonna take my big brush and that darkest shade that's in the bottom right corner of the palette up a little bit of the lighter brown and then blend that in so I'm actually also gonna kind of blend down onto my lid I usually like to pop something really bright on my lid but this is definitely a smoky eye and just to finish up the top lid I'm gonna go in with this Essence All About Sunrise palette. Okay, so I'm gonna take this shade right here, and I'm actually going to initially pick it up with my finger. And then I'm gonna take my little brush and make sure I'm covering all of that area. I'm going to use that just in the very outer corner to kind of blend that lighter taupey shade with the mattes on the outer corner. And then I had some powder sitting here, not to bake but to catch fallout. I'd focus, hopefully you can see that I have some fallout on my cheek, but then with my brush I can just sweep it away. I always keep a paper towel on my vanity in front of me, so I'm gonna wipe this brush off on my on my paper towel. And now for my lower lash line, I'm gonna pick up my transition shade from the beginning and run that along here. So now I'm gonna take both of these. I'm gonna run that along here also. And then I'm going to make sure that my lower lash line connects to my wing. And then, once again, we blend. Okay, so I am going to use these e.l.f. palettes today. I've talked about these in a couple videos, but I just love the idea of these with the popping out of the pans and I actually really like the products in them. So the one I just showed was the contour one and this is the light blush one. But to start out, I'm gonna take the contour one and I'm gonna take this Wet n Wild brush. This one, I think they call the angle blush. And I'm gonna pick up this shade um, and I'm just going to kind of bronze up my skin a little bit. And then I will take this brush. I use different brushes to contour, but today I'm gonna to use this one. This is another e.l.f. brush, but this is the Studio line. This one is the blush brush, but I like to use it for contour. So I'm gonna take the contour shade and contour my cheeks. I had a really strong contour when I wore it the other night. I went to see Beauty and the Beast with a group of friends and I don't know, I was beat. And then this is just the brush I used for my powder, which you did not see, but you did see me sweep away this powder with it. I really like this brush because I feel like I can use it for my under eyes because of how that point is. Um, this is the Juvia's J123 Tapered Blush, is what they call it, but I don't want to put my blush on with this. I'll show you what I put my blush on with sometimes. The e.l.f. Highlighting Brush, and I'm going to use this blush from the palette. 
actually going to pick up some of this too, which is, I would call this fruit punch. I like blush, okay? If you feel like you go a little ham, you can just take your face powder or your face powder brush and kind of blend around it and you should be golden. I'm actually going to contour my nose really quick. And then I'm actually going to pick up this brush, which I got in a little set. I actually have two brush sets from this brand. It is Tartan and Twine, and they came with this little pouch. I came, I saw a contour. I, I just think that's cute. Um, so I got it, and I was really interested in this brush. There were a few other brushes that I probably won't really use, but I like this one. So I'm gonna mix the two highlight shades and place those here on the sides of my nose. For my highlight, I'm going to use the Makeup Revolution Ultra Pro Glow Palette. This is the Real Techniques setting brush. You can see I squashed mine with my chair, <laughs> but it still works. And I'm actually going to start out with a mixture of these two. And now I'm gonna take this one right here and I'm going to do my pinpoint highlight and actually the night um, that I did my makeup that re the request was from I did my makeup and then later I added more so um, I'm going to show you how I made the highlight pop picked up my powder picked up face spray and boom boom, put some of that on there, and okay. I'm actually going to take this brush from earlier and I'm going to pick up the lightest highlight that I was using. minor corners and then I'm actually going to take a teeny bit of that on my finger and just pop it in the center of my lid and you can see what a pretty little glow that gives and then I'm gonna pick up that highlight and put it under my brow I'm going to do my mascara real quick. I'm just going to curl my lashes. Use my Nude Sticks mascara. Okay, so that is my mascara done, and I'm just going to take my brush and a little bit of that. The brush I contoured with, do a little bit of that, and then I highlight again. Okay, so before I do my lips, I'm gonna give my face a little spritz. And this is the Mario Badescu facial spray with aloe, cucumber, and green tea. I I'm going to talk to you about some lip options if you didn't notice this already. What I wore in the original look was this lip liner from Wet n Wild, which is the Wet n Wild Color Icon Lip Liner in Plumberry. This is a favorite. It's 99 cents and I truly love this. There's a swatch of it. It's kind of a mauve brown, brownie mauve, and you can see it right there where it says WNW, that's for Wet n Wild. And then another option. I thought for people who are into high end is the OCC lip liner in Lydia and there's that 
there you can see this one's a little more berry and then that's the liquid lipstick I wore which is the Makeup Monsters Vintage Avenue and then this is what I'm gonna wear today just to try it um, it's the LA Colors Pout Lip Gloss Matte and the color is Let's Kiss. So I'm going to use my trusty Wet n Wild liner with this on top. Okay, so there's the lip liner um, and now I'm gonna put this on top. So this is the kind of lip I like to do a lot, a mauve lip liner with a kind of natural pink on top. I just think it's very pretty, goes with everything, but this eye look, anything at all would go with. There's my little swatches again. So I'll put a link to the selfie <laughs> that the request was from, just in case you're interested, but I'm gonna zoom out. And actually, I forgot to mention, in the picture, I don't know if you can even tell, but I had glitter on my lower lash line and it's cute. It was the um, NYX Liquid Crystal Liner in Crystal Silk and how I do it is I just paint it on and then tap it with my finger. So this is the finished look. I hope you like it. And I hope you found it helpful. I tried to be more informative than I am normally in my videos, and hopefully that was actually helpful. Let me know what you think, and if I wasn't actually that helpful and you have any questions or anything, let me know. I will get back to you ASAP. So yeah, this is the look. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you in my next video. Okay, so when they say highlight bling, now you know what they're talking about. Which could be nice if you're doing like a big bruise. That is that. I need to stop saying that. Your forehead is the, the bronzing capital of the face. <laughs>